Pam, pam. Ok, Okay. Hello my friends, I'll just stop here for a while to let you know what actually caused this missed approach in Antalya. The active runway for arrival was runway 36 center, which is commonly used nowadays for arrival in Antalya airport. Usually you have one runway for arrival and the other runway for departure. The September is still a busy month for Antalya since many people still have their vacations. So there are lots of planes flying around and we were number three to land for runway 36 center ahead of us number one was quite a big aircraft i don't remember the type of that aircraft but i saw it on the ground it was quite big probably boeing 777 and it vacated the runway 36 center via taxiway delta but actually after vacation it stopped and blocked this taxiway probably the ground atc was busy with other traffic but the aircraft that landed after it was also tried to vacate the taxiway delta and was confused because that taxiway was blocked at the time and the aircraft continued the taxi through the runway and we were waiting for that aircraft to vacate the runway that is why we expect to have the late clearance for landing unfortunately that airplane lost all its energy during the landing roll because it was planned to vacate via delta and it was hard for it to gain the same speed to accelerate the vacation so actually that led to the go around the runway was blocked <laughs> Okay, go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Just on the top of the primary flight display we have the flight mode and initiators and it has three windows. So the left stands for the auto throttle modes, the middle one stands for lateral modes and the right one for the pitch modes. For the eyeless approach the auto throttle tries to control the speed which you set on the MCP on the mode control panel. In our case it's 146 knots or 146 knots with all wind corrections and the auto throttle mode is called MCP speed. If you disengage the auto throttle which I'll do later on you'll see that this window on flight mode and say the panel would just go blank the central part of the fma shows us the war lock it means that we have the lateral guidance based on localizer for ILS approach around its 36 center on the bottom we have alnav arm which is arm for go around so then you press toga then you go around you'll have the lateral guidance for your missed approach procedure based on actual chart and right part of the FMA shows us the GS it means the glide slope which is captured already and we have the standard three degrees glide slope profile so we have total guidance for ILS the outer sort is on if you disengage it the auto sort of mode just goes blank and you'll have to set the go round thrust uh, from the missed approach manually.
уходим прямо налево чек горан сас горан это тут флэп суетин герап So we are going around and let me tell you what should happen to the airplane at that point then you press the toga. The auto throttle if it was armed engages in go around mode and advances the thrust forward to reduce go around thrust and one to produce 1000 up to 2000 feet per minute rate of climb. The auto throttle engages mode and the theater shows the go around. If you press it the second time it will show the end one and it will advance the thrust forward to full go round thrust. Uh, in our case the outer throttle was disengaged so we have this window just blank and I manually advanced the thrust to reduce go round thrust. For the single channel approach the autopilot disengages if it was engaged. In our case I disengaged well before. The pitch mode engages in toga so on the right you can clearly see the toga on FMA panel. The flight director pitch commands 15 degrees nose up until reaching programmed rate of climb. The flight director pitch then commands the target airspeed for each flap setting based on maximum takeoff weight calculations. In our case, we track the flaps for we will track the flaps to flaps five, and after that, I ask for the speed for flaps up to reduce the vertical speed uh, before reaching 3,000 feet, just not to overshoot that altitude. What's about the lateral mode? Well, then you push the toga; it will go blank until reaching 400 feet radial to and after that it turned to LNAV and since that you have the lateral guidance throughout your missed approach profile. In our case we cancel the LNAV mode by pressing the heading cell and we follow the heading instructions given us by the air traffic control. Heading and self check. Flaps 5. check. Level change. Speed for flaps up. Outbound. Flaps 1. Flip up. Разгоняться не будем. Авто это кол прессижем. Авто это кочки с нами. Two seconds. 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 Two secon
The missed approach procedure for runway 36 center is actually very easy. What you need to do is you need to turn to the left to intercept radio 330 outbound Talia VRDME climbing 2700 feet, then proceed to turn again to the left, proceed to VR itself, and then go to Tapus and hold there. The holding altitude is 2700 feet as usual, but actually we didn't perform this published procedure. We were vectored by the air traffic control to climb 3000 feet and turn to the left again and again for left hand base turn uh, to join back for the eyeless approach around the 36 center. <laughs> Auto break. Three. Так, сделали автотекл процедуру. Окей, uh, about you have control cap. Okay, expect the arrival for the same runway. 36 center. Frequency for ILS. ILS frequency set, minimal set, auto brake 3. Ну, пускай да, ВРФ нормально. Remaining fuel is good according to our minimum. Еще можем зайти. Я поработаю с пассажирами, хорошо? 2500. Okay guys, we reached 3000 feet, we retracted the flaps and I didn't want to accelerate the speed more than 220 knots because this will reduce our radius, the lower speed we have, the lower radius to radius we will have. And with all the ATC instructions, the ATC was very busy with other traffic and it was very interesting to fly towards the mountains and waiting for the heading to the left. I could already see the red uh, screen, the red terrain on the terrain screen. But finally, we had the turn to the left and we overflown the Antalya city itself. It was fantastic view to see the airport on the left fly just over Antalya at 3000 feet and looking to the right very close to the mountains. So I did a brief briefing there about our next approach that we expect the same runway. Everything was said, just uh, played with the uh, auto brake, that's it. Uh, so we turned it off on after takeoff procedure and now select it on again to position three. And after a while, I also provided uh, our customers, our passengers with information about what caused the missed approach because they may have worried about this. It's not your regular thing to go around it's my second go around in this airline for four years it's a non-standard procedure I would say even though it's kind of simple but they may might have been worried about it so I provide like okay guys we are just we went around because the runway was blocked we're now all flying on Tallinn city just look at the mountains on the right very beautiful picture the airfield is on our left you can clearly see that many airplanes are flying there so that is why the place is so crowded we had to perform this maneuver it will take us uh, five up to seven more minutes to land there again so no worries my friends Every everything is okay the airplane is perfect the weather is fine so have a nice stay in Antalya enjoy your vacation something like that okay just calm them down because the situation was totally under control everything was totally fine so let's see one more approach my friend this time landing the Alice approach runway 36 center in Antalya bum, bum. hello again from the approach runway 36 center in 32015 launch Chris continuous are real way down to this surgery complete well I see a question Out 
the sword don't follow this in Genshin. One thousand. Shit. Pion Basmus. Shadow, procedure please. Then ready shut down. Hey guys, we are now in Antalya. We did the go round as you saw. It's my second go round in the Ukraine International Airlines. Uh, so it happens not very often. However, it may happen. Uh, anyway, I think we've done a nice job. We circle, we communicated even with passengers and before one more approach. ILS, same runway, 36 center. And now it's time to go to Burisma. <laughs> Let's go. Pam pam.